All right, we want to talk about fixing up your makeup, and we've all been through it. You put your makeup on in the morning, and by the time you get to lunch, things are smeared and smudged. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the different things, uh, your eyeliner, your lips, your mascara, your, your, uh, your blush, mm -hmm. all the ways that you can fix up your makeup, starting with eyeliner, perhaps. Yeah, common mishaps, okay? Mm -hmm. Common mishap with eyeliner is you're drawing it on, and it gets really crooked, yes. right? And what do you do when it gets crooked? You usually take your eyeliner, you try to go over that line, and you go over that line, and then it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. That's what you don't want to do. Yeah, you look okay? crazy. So for prevention for that, <laughs> you look crazy. <laughs> All of a sudden you're Adele. No, just joking. Exactly. Hers are nice. <laughs> Hers, are, Hers really are nice. nice. Hers yes. are nice. They're done properly. Yeah, so to prevent that, what you want to do is you don't want to hold one end to the other of the eye. You want to do it like, like soft little little strokes. You don't want to do one continuous line like that. Mm -hmm. That's when your hand gets wobbly, the line gets crooked. That's to prevent it. Do short little strokes. I always say keep the strokes fine if you want a straight line. That's how you prevent it. Right. But ha if you happen to do it anyways and you see that the line is crooked, the quick way to fix it is a Q-tip and some saliva. Might sound gross, but saliva yeah. is the best eraser. There's ingredients in your saliva that help remove makeup. Remember when you were a kid and your mother would go like this yeah, and go like yeah, that? Yeah. It works though, right? Yes, it, it does. Works, it right? does. I do it to my kids now. That's right, because there's ingredients in saliva. Don't use a makeup remover, because I find when you use makeup removers and try to go in there and clean it up, the makeup remover will remove a lot of the other makeup, right. where saliva won't. Okay, use your saliva, don't be grossed out. Let's talk about your mascara. What happens with your mascara? Clumpy, right? We've mm. all done it, we're putting it on, we're like, oh my God, all of a sudden this is too much. Right. Okay, the way to prevent that from happening is to let the first coat dry. What happens is when you're painting a wall, right? If you don't right. wait till the first coat dries and you go in with the second one, it gets like bumpy and it gets all it gets all streaky. Yeah. It's the same thing with mascara. If you don't let the first coat dry and you go in with an, another coat, it gets too clumpy. Right. That's the way to prevent it. If you do it anyways and you realize, uh-oh, it's too much, yeah. go in with a clean disposable wand like this and you have nothing on it and then just comb through it. That's how you instantly fix it. Okay. Where do you get these? Where do you get those. When you're getting ready to throw your old mascaras, keep the wand. Okay? Discard this part, who cares? Wash these off, put them in a drawer, have them get ready to go for moments like that. That's so good. And then you're not out there buying all of those disposable Exactly. Wands, these are right? great for that. Exactly. Okay, and that'll clean it right up. Clean it right up. Okay, so we've done eyeliner, we've done mascara. How about your lips? Okay, lipstick on the teeth. We've all been there. Happened all to me us. this morning. Yes. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how to prevent that, okay? Vaseline on the on the teeth. It's an old pageant trick. I thought that was to make your teeth shine. Ding. They'll shine as well, ding. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes them really slippery, and the lipstick won't be able to adhere to it. All those girls ah, in those pageants, that's what they have on their teeth. That's why they do Vaseline. it. Vaseline. Another thing to prevent it when you're applying your lipstick. What do we do after we put lips, lipstick on? People mash their lips together, mm -hmm. rub them. You do it all the time. I know I do. Don't want to do that. It's when you're mashing habit. your lips together, you're moving the smearing the lipstick in places it doesn't belong. Sometimes it'll get on the outline of the lips, yeah. and you're also moving it in the inner part of your lip, and that's where it gets transferred onto your teeth. Okay? But if you do do this and you want to fix it right away, yeah. take your index finger, put it in your mouth, and go ahead. Yeah. Pull it out. Yeah. Make sure your lips are wrapped around your finger and pull it out. That'll get rid of all the excess product there. It'll be on your finger, wipe it off, you're ready to go. Okay, do it while no one's watching because that just looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people do it though. I've seen people do it and it does the trick. And it works. Trick. It does it the works. trick. Okay, now finally your blush. Too much blush, we've all we done that too. make a mess of our blush. Make a mess, you're looking like Raggedy Ann. Yeah. What you want to do <laughs> to prevent that, <laughs> what you want to do to prevent that is you want to make sure when you're loading up your brush with blush, yeah. you take away the excess by putting it on a tissue. Don't go straight into the blush and go straight onto your face. Right. That's what a lot of us do. They're doing this, doing this. That's how you get too much product. If you dump it on this, then you're going to be able to control the amount of product that you're putting on. Yes. That's how you prevent it. If it happens anyway, a quick way to fix it, you're going to take a clean sponge. Sponges are the greatest erasers. Mm -hmm. Just go in like this. It'll dull down the, the blush and you'll be able to get rid of a lot of it. What you don't want to do, I see a lot of women doing this. Okay. Rubbing it all over when the When you're place. rubbing it like, that, oh, I put too much, and they do this. Yeah. All you're doing is smearing it even more, and sometimes the friction from doing that makes your cheeks even more red. You're making the situation even worse. Okay, but at least for the cheeks, you do not use saliva. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. You said it was a natural eraser. Okay, very good tips.